We all have insecurities in life. As for me, it's my flawed, imperfect skin. I constantly had to deal with stuff like pimples, dark eye bags, and a lot more. And this is me now. I still have insecurities but I've learned to love myself more. After all, confidence is more of a journey instead of a destination. And now, as I consider myself to be somehow confident, part of that is having a reliable and effective skincare routine to rely on. These days, I don't really care for that empty conversation. No, no, these days, I don't care for competition, you don't want this racing. No, I don't really. Before you create your own skincare routine or try different skincare products, you should first know what your skin type is. As for me, I have combination skin which means my T-zone or my forehead, nose, and chin are often oily while my cheeks and the rest of my face are mostly dry. Knowing your skin type is super important to determine which skincare products would work well with your skin and also to avoid any unwanted side effects especially if your skin is sensitive. Next is to use a scrunchie, a ponytail, or a headband like this one to prevent your hair from getting in touch with your face as you do your skincare routine. This one is from Lazada and I love it so much mainly because it's pink. Now the first thing you have to do is to wash your hands before you can wash your face. It's important to have clean hands before you can touch your face. The first step of my skincare routine is a facial cleanser and I use the Jade Glass Organic Facial Foam Wash from Jade Organics and I really like this one especially its packaging because it has a pump. It just looks like a pink liquid solution but when you pump it, it turns into foam and bubbles which is super cute for me. Afterwards, I apply it on my face using the 5 step application process forehead, nose, chin and then the cheeks and then I scatter it all over my face. The foam fades as I spread it and I usually wait for 1 to 2 minutes so it can remove dirt from my face and also remove excess oil. Next is a wash of pack which I use as an exfoliator and I've been using this newly released product of Access Y. The packaging is so simple and minimalistic yet very informative since it displays the name, its function, the main ingredients, the whole list of ingredients, some additional information, and also its features, directions on how to use it, and some precautionary measures. The Mugwort Pore Clarifying Wash of Pack comes in this dark green tub and it also comes with a free spatula which is very handy and convenient. It also has a white lid and this is how the actual product looks like. Note that this one has a 611 advanced formula composed of 6 natural ingredients such as herbal extracts, 1 core ingredient which is the mugwort extract, and 1 special patent technology which is the dermatic AC tree. For the smell, it smells like vegetables but not in an unpleasant way. So again, I just apply it on my face using the 5 step application process and make sure it's widely spread so that it covers my entire face. After application to allow it to dry, I have to wait for 15 minutes. So here's me casually holding a huge bottle of Mogu Mogu and flaunting my pink tie-dye tea from the Ducos. I have decided to drink for a while during my 15-minute wait to get rid of my boredom. And after 15 long minutes, it has now dried and hardened as you guys can see. Here's me trying hard to move my face muscles after that. And this is how my face looks like after applying it. The effect is honestly chef's kiss and I just love this product so much because aside from gently exfoliating my skin, it instantly brightens my face while leaving it smooth and moisturized. The third step of my skincare routine is to apply a toner and I use this one from Omo White. It's their Ultra Light White Beauty Toner and the reason why I love this is because it's specifically for normal and combination skin. For toner, some actually recommend using your clean hands instead of cotton pads which mostly just soak up the product. And since my hands are clean, I just often pour my toner onto my palm and gently pat it on my face. That way, the toner gets absorbed more and there's also less waste. Next is my eye cream and a lot of people actually don't know this but you should also use your eye cream even in the morning. My all-time favorite is this AHC Ageless Eye Cream for face because it works super well for me. I just use a small amount of this eye cream because a little goes a long way and then I apply it on my eye bags and also my eyelids and there you go. I highly recommend this one because it's effective in brightening my eye bags despite my sleepless nights and tiresome days. The fifth step is applying a moisturizer and I use this Jeju Aloe Ice variant from the face shop. I got mine in a tub and I like this variant better than the regular one because this has a cooling effect. So as usual, I use the five step application process and it really does a good job of soothing and moisturizing my skin. I usually wait for 5 minutes to let my skin fully absorb it and during that 5 minute wait, 
I like to apply my all-time favorite Cherry Shine Lip Balm from Nivea. This product is a 10 over 10 because aside from leaving your lips shiny and soft, it also gives a slight pinkish color as you guys can see here in the swatch. Applying it is so easy and this can actually last for a year or so which makes it undoubtedly perfect. And of course, a very important part of my morning skincare routine is sunscreen and I'm using this one from Axis Y. This is their complete no-stress physical sunscreen which claims to offer your skin protection against the harmful rays of the sun. The sunscreen comes in this tube and it has a 611 formula involving natural ingredients such as grapeseed, chamomile, and artemisia. The best feature of this one is it has a transparent plastic cover and tip so I just squeeze an ample amount on my hand as you guys can see here because a little goes a long way. Afterwards, I do the 5 step application process, spread it on my face and do you guys see why this sunscreen is perfect? Well, the answer is it's because it doesn't leave any white cast or flakes unlike other sunscreens which makes it helpful especially when you're in a hurry. Second, it really makes my skin smooth and moisturized and lastly, it also helps in making my complexion even and maintain its youthful glow. And that's it, I'm finally done showing you guys my morning skincare routine and I just want to take this opportunity to tell you that my skin is far from being perfect and that is okay. We shouldn't be pressured to abuse ourselves just to achieve the latest skincare goals and trends as long as we're happy and continue to take good care of our skin and ourselves then that's all that really matters thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and to follow me on my socials and i hope to see you guys again on my next video